Violet, what are you up to? Eureka the Unicorn. Dylan the Dragon. Is that your favorite? So we figured out that Violet, like most kids, has way too many toys. So we have different boxes of toys. And instead of having all the toys in the living room at once, we cycle through these boxes every couple of days so she gets a change of pace and she doesn't just get sick of everything. Unfortunately, it's only gonna be clean for 30 seconds after he gets done doing that. See what I mean? So the challenge for today, if I don't drop my mask on the subway floor, is gonna be to get everything done before the rain kicks in. Look at that. And the second problem is that right now, real estate is in its high point. It's July, and this is when landlords and real estate agents can expect to make most of their money. Now, if making money is a good thing, why on earth would busy season be a problem? I'll tell you why. The problem is landlords are starting to get greedy. And that's because since this is an active time of year, they think that everything's gonna rent no matter what price it is, but as you're about to see, that is not true. Oh no, I got off at the wrong stop. I should have been paying attention on the train, but I wasn't. Now we have to walk. neighborhood there's a lot going on here one of these doors is for the building okay it's that one and look at this the entire side of the street where the apartment is is all places to eat except for this one right here ain't nobody making no muscles at this grill this place is called workshop I guess it's like a bar for mechanics or something or for people who want to act like mechanics but actually aren't maybe they hang out here if you're a mechanic please don't be offended by that I know you guys are doing God's work Huh, okay, it doesn't look like I can get in. Someone was trying to get in, but I mean, can I get on the roof and sneak in somehow? It, uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, that's a real kick in the nuts. Yeah, and I'm not climbing over that ledge. It's fine, down the street there's something else. Original plan here, wow my hair looks crazy, was to show you guys a one bedroom apartment for $2,500 and then to show you this three bedroom for $2,200, both of which are in the same neighborhood. But since I'm a terrible real estate agent, we only get to see the good place together. Everyone knows you're supposed to show the bad place first and I wasn't able to do that. I failed at my job. All right, it looks like there's like a folding table or something and uh, it looks like you're gonna need it. The kitchen here is a little small, that's for sure. But it has the most important feature of all, a sink sprayer and a kitchen fire extinguisher. If you think you can cook in here, you're wrong. And that's why this is here. How's the fridge? Not terrible. Now, two of the bedrooms are down the hall this way, over here, and then the other room is right here. But if you use this place as a two bedroom, this could be your living room, which would make sense because this is the closest room to the kitchen. The space is 12 feet, two inches by nine feet. You'd probably want the couch over there by the windows, right here, and then put the entertainment center here on the wall. You could do something with this weird shelf. This is kind of interesting. I don't really know what you'd put on it or hang from it, but I guess, again, this could be a bedroom, so maybe someone used this as a dresser at one point. Either way, I think these next two rooms are gonna make way better bedrooms. This one right here is eight feet, 11 inches by nine feet, three inches. This is a little bit smaller than the room we just saw, and it looks like at at one point, these doors would open, but both this door and that one are closed off. So it is a private room and it will fit a queen size bed. Plus in here, you get an actual closet. No door on it, but that's definitely gonna be useful. And we have one window facing 73rd Street, which is a side street with lots of cars, as you can see. Now the third room or the second room, whatever you wanna call this, is this guy at the end. And it's also the biggest, 11 feet, nine inches by seven feet, six inches. 
inches. The one drawback here is there's no closet, but I feel like you'd definitely be able to fit in dressers or a standing shelf if you needed it. Plus you got this little ledge right here and look at that right underneath it, there's a cable hookup. So I guess you could put an entertainment center there if you wanted. And hey, maybe this could end up being your living room instead of the one by the kitchen. I'm just not sure who would want to set the apartment up like that because living rooms tend to be the loudest room in the apartment because they're a high traffic room. Plus you got the kitchen right here. And I just realized we didn't see the bathroom yet. This is interesting. The shower's black, but if you look at it, it's definitely clean enough to use. That's for sure. There's also a window and this room has decent light, which is nice. Black ceiling, that is a little odd, but hey, there's a black mirror to match with it. Is this also a medicine Oh, 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 look at the size of that thing. There's also a little shelf in there for retainers and toothbrushes. Why did I say retainers? I don't know. I also like how there's an outlet here. You can plug stuff in and put it on this odd little shelf that we got here. You might want to get a curtain though because this window's directly facing the street. But other than that, it's not bad. I feel like I owe you guys another apartment. But if you're happy we saw that one, you should subscribe. And if you were happy that I got locked out of the first place and suck at my job, you should subscribe because that is a major theme of this channel. We're a little bit further south now, but you know something, Second Avenue hasn't changed a whole lot even though we're over 20 blocks south. We're on 50th Street, you got cafes and wine bars. How you doing? Nice to meet you, man. Pleasure to meet you. You too. People are friendly, I think. Just my luck, the second key, which used to work, now no longer works. What an absolute pain in the neck. And you know where these are going? Yeah, that'll teach them not to open doors. Now I have an empty key ring. I'm not even a real estate agent anymore. This is actually not bad. 51 grams of sugar, it better taste good. After you engage in self-destructive behavior, you almost always feel worse. Not right now, right now I feel great, but in 10 minutes, just you watch. Ho ho, the speed bike. You are right, that is a small bike and you're a big guy. It is. Lorenzo, how tall are you? 6'4". Six, 6'4"? Four. Six, four? What did you eat growing up, man? You said that goes what, 25? 15, 17. 17? Yeah, the little you are, the faster you go. So you see that good DNA, yeah, that's holding you back from <laughs> yeah. killing yourself on your bike. Look crazy on the outside. It does look crazy on the outside. So I touched this half, so I'll give you this half. Is it a hit, is it a miss? I think it's okay, it's not bad. I thought the texture was gonna be a little bit different. Yeah, I, I was expecting like, like a mouthful of sugar, but it's not what it tastes like. Who is this handsome man? Do you guys like Elvis's new glasses? I like them. You could be a doctor on CNN with that look. Sure it doesn't make me look like a serial killer? Well, you're not from the United States. I've only been here for a few years. You still won't tell me why you're here, so maybe. If you want to rent the two apartments we didn't see or the one that we saw, you can message Lorenzo. I'll put his info in the video description. It looks like it was raining. Those shoes are too nice to step in a puddle. But the rain seems to have subsided temporarily. Someone's moved moving a mattress into something. Moving in New York is such an absolute pain in the neck. Just think, where do you park your moving truck? There's nowhere. Most of these buildings are commercial. That's why there's some empty spots, but on a residential block, like over in the village, good luck. Whoa, check that out. Can you actually buy this thing? If you can, it probably costs $10,000. Oh, and here's a question. I have Spectrum and it absolutely sucks. It's the worst internet. And my goal is to get rid of it. And I got a message today saying that T-Mobile home internet's now available in my area. Look, that's what the email says, $50. But when I called and tried to sign up, they immediately asked me for my social security number and I was like, no, I'm not giving that out. Anyways, if you use it, tell me if it's good, if it sucks, and I'll see you tomorrow.